Pam, Pam is gardener extraordinaire. Um, she's had a commitment to growing things and and eating healthy and all of those sort of things, I'm guessing, for a long time, um, but certainly since I've known her. So I guess I first met Pam when we had a, um, some workshops about what we would like way back before there were any houses in Lock Hill Park. And um, Pam and I and Kathy got together and started looking at, well, how would this thing work? And, and so we drew up a constitution. Kathy then went off overseas, I think, and Pam and I finished it off. So we'd go and meet from, well, we were in Salisbury Heights and they were in Belair, and we'd come and meet here and upstairs at Helen and Paul's place. <laughs> for our meetings <laughs> and we did that several times over several months to, to knock, knock together the community garden constitution and I had absolutely no idea what I was doing so it was really pap. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't have any idea either. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we muddled through and I think we've only made one change since and I can't even remember what that was, it was fairly minor but change of public officer. <laughs> and we've done that too but we did have one constitutional change and, and it, you know, but but we worked out that, you know, we needed to have the constitution that had been set in stone and then we had a, some membership rules and things like that that we could change without going through a whole AGM and carry on. Um, so Pam's been there for almost every working bee for, you know, 10 years, except when they've been overseas or something and had other things on. But 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 one of those people who who I've certainly relied on for advice and for, for, for picking your brains about what, what we do about this situation or that situation. Pam was our secretary and like at Ripples and before Ripples in fact, um, Pam did some of the same sorts of things in terms of working out, you know, how we do this and what the processes were and, and how we, you know, do minutes and how we get it all sorted. Um, And some of those processes of, of, you know, we're still doing them um, and, and they, they, they've proved the test of time. Pam has a, a passion for whatever it is that she's involved with, whether it's textiles, whether it's um, ceramics, ceramics. <laughs> um, but, and she goes and finds out as much information as she can, enrolls in courses and things. And so, you know, I've known that she's done several courses over the time I've known her, whether it be around um, exercise and, and therapeutic and helping people to, to move better or looking at your microbiome in the soil and in your gut or whether it be textile things, um, permaculture, Pam's... Pam's gets in there and finds out about stuff and, and shares her knowledge with with us all, which has been just really inspirational and and done in a way that that is is always helpful and trying to help people to live better a better life. Don't look like that. <laughs> She's also extremely modest <laughs> and, and almost self-effacing in, in and, and, and a lot of her artworks in particular. She's, she's always looking to, to do something better and I don't like what I've done, where, whereas, and Alicia will certainly <laughs> attest to that, we've all said, oh, that's fantastic and love it and we like it. And they say, oh, I'm not so sure yeah. about that one and I'll give it away or I'll break it or I'll chuck it away. <laughs> or... But she has had one thing that she really likes, so bowl, that, that Pam really likes. That's not to say that we've had things that we haven't really liked as well. <laughs> um, Pam's also been a really good friend and, and through some you know, difficult personal situations that I've experienced over several years has been there, someone to bounce ideas off, someone to pull me up when I'm wallowing in self-pity, <laughs> maybe, um, and, and just be a clear head. And, and we all need those sorts of people. And, and I've really appreciated that, Pam. Ken is just quietly gets on with things. 
he supports Pam in a in a lovely way. Just <laughs> being there and and doing what needs to be done uh, and hasn't taken a leadership role in the community garden but it but a lovely supportive role and if you don't have those sorts of people you don't have an organization mm -hmm. and so we really appreciate your role in the community garden as well Ken so I've also got a little certificate <laughs> it says life membership but I whatever that means um, <laughs> Not a lot in the sense of things, but just to appreciate. So it just says, in appreciation of your dedicated involvement in the garden for over 10 years, and our best wishes go with you as you help grow a new community in a new place. And I think that you're, you would have learned a lot growing this community. Definitely. And I know that you'll take all of that learning and make it so much easier for you.